What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Yogaman, and today I'm going to be showing you how to train on high rounds on Shadows of Evil. Now, as you can see, I'm in the basement area. Now, this round is almost over, but basically, what I'll do is I'll just run back and forth, or not back and forth, pretty much just in circles around this middle part. And the zombies will just chase you in circles like this. Now, as you can see, I'm running the Vesper and the Spike Punch. And my personal favorite is to run it with Blast Furnace. Now, the reason the Vesper is such a good gun to run for this area is because you can run up buy ammo and then continue your train right down here so you never have to lose your train or anything like that and i'm going to kill off some of these zombies the other thing is this tutorial is with the assumption that you guys do know how to get everything like the civil protector the rocket shield the wonder weapon the sword all that stuff is super important super helpful and will make pretty much training a lot easier so now that i'm getting down to a couple zombies left in this round I'll get down to just so there's one or two zombies left. Shit, and that's how you end the round. Now, if my sword, if my shield is broken, and I currently do not have the civil protector, I'll run up here by the civil protector. And if I'm, if my shield is broken, I just run up here and get another one. Now that there's a, a Margot spawning in, I'm gonna try to run back down and continue to train. Now, here's one important thing is. Always, 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 always train with your uh, wonder weapon now. Like r r run around it because everything, even gumballs, you can't you can't panic with them. Like here, the other nice thing is you guys can see I'm not running uh, revive, and the reason that I'm not running revive is because if I have the silver protector, he will just pick me up if I go down, which I have been down once, and. <laughs> Right now I'm being pretty wasteful with my wonder weapon, which I probably don't need to be this wasteful. But, oh yeah, so, uh, almost forgot about my sword. Other thing is, at about round 40, the sword will stop becoming a one-hit kill. Like, it's still one-hit kill when it's flying around it by itself, but running with it out is no longer, it will no longer be a one-hit kill, which is a pretty big deal. Now, the biggest problem is, is that generally for killing the Mograths, I'll try to kill the Mograth with a sword, or I'll or try to have the Civil Protector kill him. But as you can see, he still has all of his three heads, and they haven't really done anything to him. So, what I need to do is pretty much wait till my sword is done, and until my Civil Protector pretty much runs out of energy. Because the problem is, if they keep killing zombies, then zombies keep spawning in, and it becomes really, really difficult to try to kill the Mograth. Now, as you can see, my shield is gone, so what I'm going to do now, I'll show you guys what I usually do. Now that my shield is gone, so I'll run back up, and I'm not going to, I'm assuming my civil protector is almost out of power, but if it was out of power and I, there was a mark with, I'd buy it again, and then I'd run over, get the shield again, and then if you can, I'd run right down right here, let's see if I can, uh, as you can see there's a shit ton of zombies right there, so I will not be doing that, I'll just run down to one of the other districts, probably the waterfront district, Go back down into the basement area and continue to train. And what I'll do is I'll I won't kill any of the zombies and then I'll just try to shoot the uh, the Margrath's heads with my Vesper until I kill the Margrath. Then I'll probably just start uh, go back up, recall in my Silver Protector, and continue the train and just slowly, steadily kill zombies. And I generally only use my Wonder Weapon if it's like a total, complete panic. Like I need to use my Wonder Weapon now. So yeah, that's pretty much this tutorial to get to high rounds on Shadows of Evil to keep training. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.